Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jess with your January 2022 general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Sagittarius, moving forward, moving on is what it looks like to me. Congratulations. Some of you are literally going to be moving. Um, the emotional side of you right now is putting an end to things, which I see in just about every sign. And you will be fully probably past this. Um, once we get into Taurus season and for others of you, Virgo season, okay? And that's May or September for those of you who may not know. I see a physical move and excited about this move. For some of you, you will be moving, okay? This year, you are going to be moving it and it could be February, June. Others of you, it could be April or August, Okay, or September, but there will be movement and you're going to be so excited about this move. Now, what you don't see coming is a new beginning. Mm -hmm. You got a new beginning. And I'm telling you now, for those of you who are employed and I, even for some of you who are employed and lost your job because you have three of swords to the two of swords. So there is an ending of some sort. And if it wasn't you, it could be others around you who were uh, let go. That will open a door for a new opportunity for you. You may already know about it. And it's like, okay, they are out of here. So I'm up next, that type of thing. You're up next. And others of you, um, even if you are being let go of a job, or you're still looking for work, I see something coming in really fast, really fast. And for some of you, like get these resumes out now, just start looking for stuff. Um, and if you've been doing that, then your time is coming. Your time literally is coming probably by in the next couple of weeks or so. Others of you, it could be by like now and others of you, if you start it late, it'll be by February or March. Um, but it can come at any time. It's coming in fast. It's coming in hot. I see new opportunities, particularly when it comes to um, career, a job, or solidifying something with someone is what it looks like to me. And for those of you who are self-employed, you're working hard. You're working a lot um, and you're reaching your goals. You're just going to keep going up and up and up if you're focusing on it, right? And not necessarily work, worrying about um all that comes with it, just keeping your head down and, and doing the work, you will look back and be like, God damn, look how far I came, that type of thing, right? Uh, because this is showing someone who just continues to climb higher and higher, but her focus or his focus is on that ladder of upward mobility. That's all they're focusing on is this. And it may even be a goal that you want to reach. Like, I want to make this amount of money, that type of thing. So it would be a good thing for you guys to make goals for 2022, Okay. Home life, everyone is getting five of cups. So my condolences if some of you have lost someone, but I do see this is part of that emotional side of some of you Sagittarius's that's letting that go once and for all. And it may have been something that has been a process since Mars and Scorpio, which I believe was in October or November of last year, September, October, November, around that time. So you were, you're at the tail end of this now. And I do see you guys focusing more on your career, your finances. There will be financial increase for those of you who work from home or work for yourself. And I do see uh, balls to the wall, making things happen, breaking ground. So congratulations for those of you who are buying a new build. Um, or doing a lot of work around your home. I see you guys being able to save significantly for the next three to four months. And I do see you guys having a lot of stamina, a lot of stamina. And if you live with someone, you and your partner definitely could be focusing on your next goals in life. Okay. It may feel at times like someone is being neglected here, but it is for the better good of both of you or at least one person. Love. Sad single ladies. Well, you know, you had you had someone that may have come back in and reached out, but it, it is a lot to try to deal with the past. The past feels like it's a lot to deal with you and you feel like it's a lot to deal with the past. OK, um, I do see, however, either people coming in to communicate and then holding back. Um, or just everyone's giving just a little bit. Oh, you say hello, I say hello. You text me, I text you. You call, I'll call you back. That type of thing. But then for the most part, holding back. Now, I have to tell some of you ladies, okay, who are you wrestling? Who who are you fighting with? <laughs> I see some of you, I see some of you ladies um, feeling like you need to teach a person a lesson. Um, 
And almost like you're turning someone out. Some of you may turn someone out. I don't know what that means exactly, but I get like turning a person out. Someone may feel like you're a bit hard or abrasive toward them for no reason. Okay. I'm just reading what I see, ladies, here. Okay. And I do see an opportunity to focus just on your money. I get a lot of focus on money. Um, love, again, may be a bit of... Um, far out of your reach because again there's a sense of feeling over overworked when it comes to love it doesn't have to be that hard and some of you are just really out to play now you have a king of swords here let's see how he feels about you oh he feels like the two of you had a good thing going on um he's trying to come toward you work on the situation he may sneak up on you he may come when you least expect it this king of swords which could be a libra sag uh, libra aquarius or gemini it could be any sign um like when you're focusing more on work and with the tasks at hand um this man may come in to have a good time with you um But it it will be something that you can enjoy, like you can enjoy yourself with this person, but it's not something that, um, sorry guys, I was telling every other sign, the cards and not, not you guys. Um, there is the eight of pentacles, the chariot, the nine of cups, the four of swords, 10 of pentacles, the nine of pentacles and a moon card. Good, good. Uh, if, if a person does come in because they may even stop themselves, uh, but the, if they do come in, I feel that this will be. Um, something to have a good time for the moment but it's not anything long term simply because someone likes their independence someone likes to just kind of do their own thing and they even may there still may be um someone connected to them that makes sense so as you're a single men um some of you may century single men you have a woman here who thinks of you who misses you who loves you but you've put your foot down and some of you are playing hardball. You are not chasing anyone. You've had enough of it and you know who you love. Uh, but at the same time, if the two of you need to go your separate ways, you're prepared to do that too. Because you're showing up as the emperor, the queen of cups, the emperor and the page of cups. And there will be an opportunity to try to get to know a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo, she doesn't have to be, but she is a stable individual. Um, but be careful because, you know, the things that you say may bite a little bit. And some of you may need to take some time to mentally get over an ex or a past person. Uh, but there is an opportunity to, for you to flirt and get to know a new person. It may get a little sticky. Uh, the two of you may have a little bit of a fallout or just clash at times. Let me see where it's going to go. Ooh. Mm. okay listen you meet someone who comes across very stable may have their stuff together that type of thing or could be a literal earth sign it, this situation will take about a year you're going to fall in love with her probably three months in you will be falling in love with this woman um and in a year's time, the two of you may really make something happen. But I, I think I remember telling Sagittarius men that you had something real serious with a woman coming in. And I see it too. Real serious with a woman is coming in. Okay, couples. I know Sag women is like, well, God, I know. Well, what can I say? I'm just reading the cards, guys. Uh, so couples, two of wands, star card, nine of wands. I feel like for some of you, one, it looks like some of you have been displaced, whoever this is. Someone's displaced um, and they had to leave everything that they know and love and only only took the most important things with them to either be in this relationship or to be rid of the relationship. OK, um, I do see where there's a lot of hope and someone's still praying and wishing, yeah, that this situation can grow and it gets better. Some of you are dealing with someone who's bipolar, who has, you know, mental issues here. Could even be you. Let's look at you. How does Sagittarius feel about their person? Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Chariot. So some of you may feel like your person is coming to you big time. Here they come. Get ready. They're coming. Um. 
And some of you may feel like your person could be a bit full of themselves. They want you when they want you with that six of wands. Um, and the focus needs to be more on them is what it looks like to me. They may travel a lot or they come and go quite a bit. Um, so there's that. How do we feel about you? Ten of Pentacles, the Tower card. What is this? Mm. And King of Pentacles. Okay. This person is very clear that happiness lies with you. They're very clear about that. Okay. Um, they may have felt a sense of emotional fulfillment that they haven't felt in a long time, if ever. Um, but there's also a part of them that's not so sure. This is someone who, this is someone, this is the kind of person that keeps so much inside that when they do reveal things to you, you'll be shocked. Like, what do you mean you never loved me? <laughs> I mean, that type of thing. You know, like they're never really going to say exactly what sits deep inside of them. Um, you may have someone who here um, is trying to recommit to this relationship, wanting to spend more time here is what it looks like to me. Okay. Where's things going between the two of you? Well, there may have been some hurtful words exchanged in the two of you. Things have been rocky for the last couple of months, if not a couple of years. Uh, with the two of pentacles here, the magician to the queen of swords would suggest that there's going to be an opportunity to kind of clear the air and come to some type of resolve with the lovers to the world card to the three of cups. All right. This is an opportunity to go to the next level. All right. Here. Now, you may have your... You or your person, I do feel like love renews here. This is looking pretty good for Sagittarius couples. Mm -hmm. This is a renewal of love. And the two of you kind of get back on track for a minute. Mm -hmm, for a minute. Get back on track. It feels really good. I do feel like there's other people in the ethers out there. But the two of you are going to make a new beginning together. Okay? Um, and, it, and it will feel very... Um, pure and it's going to feel extremely strong okay but then then someone's going to feel like okay we're back on track and everything is okay but things will start to kind of change because there's going to be a disconnect here only for the two of you i keep saying this only for the two of you to reconnect um there's an ex coming in and they may be starting problems with you. I do see an ex coming in, trying to make things right. And that may be a bit problematic. But as far as your relationship is concerned, there could be some issues with someone having to be away from the other person at times. And someone at times not feeling 100% um, fulfilled in this, but they're keeping it to themselves. But they're, the love is strong here. So the two of you come back together time and time again to renew and whoever the man is here, whether it be the Sag man or the man in the lives of Sagittarius woman, he changes quite a bit. He changes a lot. He's not energetically consistent. Okay. Um, yeah. So he's going to be changing up one minute, providing a sense of security. The next minute feeling like, you know, you're the love of his life. And then the next minute feeling like um, he wants when he wants when he wants it and you better give it to him. That type of thing, whoever this woman is. This is how this man is going to be acting. And so trying to kind of adjust to all of his changes could be almost like whoever this woman is, she may feel like it's a lot to deal with because it's like, shit, when do I get to just focus on me? Because I'm always, it's always about him. It's always about, you know, what mood is he going to be in now? What mood is he going to be in then? So something like that, having to adjust to someone's mood swings and it's, it's a lot of highs and lows. So again, I keep telling people I'm seeing a lot of bipolar energy here, but I just get that with the North Node and Taurus, with Uranus there, there's going to be a lot of people that want to break out of norms. They don't want to conform. And that's what I'm seeing with all the signs that I've done thus far is that out of the couples, one person wants to break out. They cannot conform anymore or um, energies are, are, it's glaringly obvious that you can't stay this way. So it's something about needing to switch some stuff up. And I feel whoever this woman is, if you can relate to this, there's, there needs to be a redefining yourself and staying true to you. And then once you start to embody that empress or the queen of pentacles, then you'll get more into 
being truly you and not constantly sitting around until he's ready to make a switch in his energy so that you can match it. <laughs> so that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you like a personal read, you can check out the link to my website down in the description box below. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Sagittarius.